All right, here's the Junior's simple setup. We've got uh, three fire bricks underneath the tin foil, and of course the rack, the regular racks in their upper position, leaving room to put the fire bricks in there and the tin foil in there, and then we'll we'll cook just like that. It has the pork and somewhere the chicken. There's some thigh meat right there. And I've got a can of fazoli and the chili peppers and I'm reserving a can of prosciutto because I'm afraid it's going to cook up too much. So this is basically done right here and it smells to high heaven. It's got plenty of onion, about five or six cloves of garlic that was roasted. About all you need besides some tortillas and well it prosciutto takes a lot of ingredients or condiments I'm sorry. A lot of people has shredded uh, lettuce but we like shredded cabbage uh, I like chili seco uh, lots of different things so next we're going to go out here and start the fire because it's getting dark and I don't have the proper lighting alright I finally remembered what could a beef I bought? It's a London broil, and I've got it all rubbed and injected. I also have the chicken uh, that has uh, been in marinade for a couple of hours, and I've uh, put the rub on the chicken. Over here, I have the pozzoli cooking. Alright, we've got just enough light left to show you this little experiment with the uh, little aluminum portable kitchen uh, cooker. We've got the chicken going pretty good. I'm more concerned with what's going on with this uh, these thighs and trying to get this skin crispy it doesn't appear to be working to me because I mean I got as much skin as I ever had and it's shrinking up to nothing <coughs> so I don't know how you use uh, a grill to get competition chicken any better because you ain't gonna have no skin left. You know what I mean? I mean you can see it. I don't know. I guess I'm doing it wrong. Well, I know I'm doing that wrong. Well, the chicken's about done, and uh, <laughs> surprise, surprise, even with them skin, uh, the skin shrunk up like that, the, 
little chicken thighs turned out looking pretty good even though I had to use this uh, chunky uh, Cajun barbecue sauce man is it good I mean it is good good garlicky hate the word alright so chickens all looking great the little cooker is a great little grill if I had one cooker it might be this one instead of a ceramic I don't know I have to work with it this is my first time so I'm happy with what I see here because I'm shocked about that skin mainly so anyway we got the uh, Laundry broil over there. We got to check on that. I'm gonna take this up in just a minute. As soon as I check on the uh, laundry broil. All right, this little laundry broil is between 130 and 140 hopefully no more than 135 and that's where we're going to leave it we're going to take it off because we want to let it cool real quick and then i'm going to slice it in the slicer for sandwiches Okay, we got the everything cooked, right? We got the long rolls, 135, the competition uh, chicken with Cajun barbecue sauce. We got our boneless skinless for everything you want to cook. We're going to put in the fridge and have. Uh, spaghetti and stuff like that. Matter of fact, we're going to have it tonight. Uh, pizzoli. The house smells lots better when you cook pizzoli. It's unreal. So this is chicken and pork. Oh, is it good. Pizzoli. How can you beat Pizzoli? The uh, thighs are dang good to be grilled in that little aluminum cooker. I can't believe it. So we're going to slice the uh, long roll. It's medium rare and it's just for sandwiches. So we're all set. Pretty good cook.